Hey you guys, it's your hey you guys, it's your girl Vanna Black and I'm coming to you. Um I was just shuffling a few oracle messages and I just wanted to bring them on. The first oracle message, this is from your work and light oracle cards, is create heaven on earth, Lumeria. Create heaven on earth. The next one I have is Keepers of the earth, you are not alone. Ancestors, ancient ancestors stand beside you. The beautiful cards, beautiful theme. Okay. The next one that I have is Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty and Devotion Priestess, Mystic Teacher. I always get this card. Excuse my nails. The next card is Break the Chain, Ancestral Patterns, Healing, Rewrite the Future. The next one that I get is Mirroring. What is triggering you? I have had a lot of triggers in the last past week or so. Leap, you go first. The universe will catch you. So what I am getting out of these cards is that um, you possibly, um, you may need to take a leap of faith, um, ground yourself and figure out what's going on in the shadow part of your life because the shadow part, of which is our subconscious part or the, the dark sided part that <clears throat> we don't want to give it any play, but obviously we need to so we can become better people so yeah what's kind of happening with that shadow part of you what's happening what's going on um, I have a green bun today and it's apparently been bothering a lot of people but I'm okay with it but um yeah and also I've gotten out of this a lot of green the green and the blue the heart chakra and the um the throat chakra, you need to say some things, you need to get some things off your chest because we have a lot of blues and greens here. If you can see, there's a green right there, green, blue, green right here. We have a lot of green right there, greenish blue. You can't tell in this car, but it's greenish blue. So yeah. Crowning the deck is priestess. How are you being called to step into your lead? So you have to step into your step into your leadership. Step into who you are. Step into being the high, your higher power. That's what I'm hearing uh, with all of these cards. Um, yeah. Don't dim your light to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Don't dim your light. You are you for a reason. You are magnificent for a reason. You are gifted for a reason. Do not dim your life, okay? So let's see what the oracle card, I mean the tarot card got for us. Okay. Messages jumping out. Okay. What do you need to tell us about our lives for the next 72 hours? Okay. There is a cycle ending. There is a cycle ending, Wheel of Fortune. There is a cycle ending. Um, this cycle is going to bring about new transition, new faith, new uh, world order, as you would say. People. You know how they say about the new world order. Well, this is going to bring um, um, new opportunities for you. The Wheel of Fortune is about newness. Uh, the closing and ending of one cycle while the next one is about to begin. Okay. I also got the Two of Staffs, which is a creative partnership or following your path. Um, you definitely have a path that you're trying to follow, which ties back to what I was saying 
in the uh, Oracle read, you definitely have a, a path to follow. It's time to follow it. It's time to get with it. It's time to move. You have a new, remember I said new world order? You see that old world in his hand? Yeah, it's time. It's time for you to end one cycle so you can begin another. And the illumination is right here where the moon is illuminated, okay? What you might new in love, it might be new in love too. It may be new in love because it's on the crown and everything. Let's see what is new. What is going to be new for the collective? What is going to be new for the collective? Um, four of Pentacles. Um. If you've been lazy, don't want to really do it, you have to change this behavior. You're, this cycle is coming to an end. This behavior is coming to an end. You're getting ready to get get your oomph about yourself, if you will. You, you're getting ready to get that spark in your, or that fire under your tail, so you can go do what you need to do. It's the ending to the laziness. Yes, you're about to end. You, you see the light at the end of the tunnel, Six of Swords. You see the light at the end of the tunnel. You see the hope. You can have proc to progress and do the things that you need to do. Okay? You see the vision crown, and that is the Ace of Cups, which means new beginnings. Again, overflowing of love and overflowing of finances and abundance and things of that nature. Yes. Because if you do this, you will have long-term stability, nine of pentacles. Um, so when this cycle ends and something new begins, you will have long-term stability. Okay? Which ties into those oracle cards that I was uh, reading earlier. Okay. Oops. Okay. <clears throat> Because you were living in an illusion, uh, seven of cups, illusion, temptation, things that were no longer serving you, or things that you had your mind set on, but you you really, like, you know how you can say, I want to do this, and I want to do that, and I want to do this, or I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that, but you never would do it because you're in that lazy mode. You're in that lazy mode, you never would do it, but now... These illusions and things of that nature are the what are you thinking about? They're coming to a close because you're ready to be prosperous for another new beginning. Ace of Pentacles. You have one, two, you have like, okay, the Ace of Pentacles. Um, you're ready for triumph. This is financial gain. So whatever, whatever that you're going to let go of, to start a new cycle of is going to give you a lot of money. This is financial gain. Crowning that is the devil. You have to let go, let go of things that chain you, things that are um, obsessions and vices, and and you have to change that because you, it's limiting you. Okay. I'm at work. I'm a little tired. It's 2 a.m. in the morning, I think. No, it's almost 2 a.m. in the morning. I have to do something to make me stay awake. So, greetings it is. <laughs> okay, and it's going to take you a lot of strength, a lot of passion, a lot of confidence to complete this, okay? This is not going to be easy, okay? And if you do crown in that, look at that at the end of the deck, the sun. This is the happiest card in the deck. This is the most fulfilling card in the deck, okay? This is harvesting success, happiness, all right? The sun, happiness, okay? And then you have another ace that came out, which is a new beginning, creations, a new project. This is the ace of staffs or the ace of wands. Okay, crowning that is the Eight of Pentacles, 
this is about excellence and crafts and skills and your master and skills and in, in whatever that you are uh, or endeavor about and then look what came out you guys ace of cups again illumination and overflow of love overflowing of um abundance um you might even have your psychic abilities to come out um new beginnings just overflow of love okay because you're going to be able to knight of swords get over the hurdles okay get over the hurdles get over it you're going to take action you're going to take action this knight of swords is all about action Okay, because you have been, even if you've been to your staffs, confused. You've been confused about what you need to do. But you're finally ready. You're ready for this cycle to end. Because it's, it's a, a, a long one cycle that hasn't really gotten you anywhere. You're ready for it to end. Okay. So right now, you have a stillness. You're trying to get mental clarity or you have gained mental clarity. Um, you're resting and you're relaxating and you're retreating for a sword because you know there is a judgment that's coming or a judgment that has already come. Okay? Okay? Because the judgment card is a reawakening. Okay? The ending of something. That's why you're retreating because you had a, a reawakening. And when you have a reawakening of things, it really gets you tired, okay? Yeah. Last card, Spirits. And what we need to know about the next 72 hours. You may experience some delays or you have experienced some delays. But nevertheless, I would like for you to be grounded. Spirit would like for you to be grounded. King of Pentacles. Grounded and steady and loyal and be in your creative mode. Because that's what the King King of Pentacles does. Okay. Because there are fast messages and adventurous may adventurous things that may come into mind. Um, success, really. This is that may come your way, not to mind. These are messages that may come your way, and success will come your way once you get over those delays, okay? Okay, you have maybe experienced in love some, this is maybe talking about love instead of an opportunity. You may experience some love, three of swords, uh, betrayal and love, heartbreak, sadness, and hurt in love. You may have experienced that, okay? Clarify this three of swords. Clarify this three of swords for me, okay? Yeah, definitely. Because there has been somebody who, who has been juggling. Two of pentacles. Somebody's been juggling, and they... They want you. They think that they don't know what they want. However, they're juggling two people. They're illuminated. Look at that. And he knows exactly what he wants because he's looking at that one pentacle. He's he doesn't have them both in his hand like this. Okay, he has it like this. So that lets you know that he has his mind set on one of those pentacles. And he's about to get ready to X one of these out, okay? Take one of the swords out the heart. Because he wants to celebrate. He wants to, and he has an inner vision. He wants harmony with whomever this person is. He wants harmony. Or she wants harmony, okay? So this is a love situation in Crown and that on the deck is the world card, okay? So what is the world card? It's a completion. It's another new beginning. We have a new beginning like four times in this reading, okay? <clears throat> so, it's the end of a phase, okay? But the tower has to come down. The tower has to come down so he can have another unexpected change. This is destruction before rebirth. 
the tower has to come down with this person that they're with in this third party relationship or the tower has to come down with um, a job situation that you no longer that no longer serves you so the tower has to come down with that first in order for you to rebuild and have a rebirth of the life that you will want okay you have to step out and be the fool okay be the fool and find that freedom Find that freedom within your heart. Remember, we had those heart cards, those um, chakra, I mean, green cards. Yeah, you have to find it within your heart because there will be a celebration. <clears throat> there will be a celebration. Okay, three of cups, celebration and joy once you do that. But you got to be able to release the demons or the obsession or with this job or with this person you have to release it the devil release the obsession with it okay you have to find balance balance within it you have to find balance and patience and letting things flow as you do this is the temperance card as you do decide to let go of this person or let go of this career or let go of whatever no longer serves you you have to have the self-confidence and the assurance to make action and move the chariot. This is all about movement in your life. It's time for you to move, okay? Hardworking and you have to be dedicated. This is what the Knight of Pentacles is about. Hardworking and dedication. Mm -hmm. And you will have the life that you want, the sun. The most happy, the happiest card in the deck, not the most happy. Because you are the magician of your life. Work your magic. Do what you have to do for you. You are the all. You are the powerful one. You are the skill one. Everything you touch turns to gold. Alchemy, okay? Because you've been hurting long enough in the situation that you've been in. You've been hurting. You don't really want to do it anymore. Okay? You've been unclear. You have had direction. You've been unclear. It's time for you to have the direction. There's the two of pentacles again where you were juggling and didn't know where you wanted to be. It's time for you to have the direction again. And, and have justice. Bring justice about in your life. Bring fairness about in your life. Bring fairness to the situation that you're going through in your life. Be it a car or a relationship. Bring justice to it. So you can find peace, okay? Because you've been... A lot of you have been in this because of your childhood. Your childhood memories and karmic connections from your childhood. We're still carrying on childhood karmas from when our parents... We're carrying our parents' karma. Now, I'm about to be really real right now. We're, we're carrying things that we should not be carrying. Six of Cups. That's why some of our relationships don't work. That's why some of our, our um, relationships with our children are messed up because of the parenting skills that we had or because of the things that we experienced in our childhood. You're in the hangman mode, okay? You're trying to shift that perspective in order to move forward to what you want to do. You're trying to shift that perspective, but you have been in your feelings about it. The moon. You have been in your feelings about it. Okay? Because you've been trying to work on your shadows. You have self-reliance, though. Self seven of staffs. Success in the reach. And you're focused on the task. So you have had self-reliance. You have had self-reliance. Okay? Because you know that you are the divine feminine or the divine masculine. You have that clarity. You know that you can do this. The empress. You know that you can do this. You know 